The concept of an invisible aircraft carrier is a peculiar and remarkable departure from the conventional aircraft carriers we have learned about. This concept delves into science fiction, challenging our understanding of naval warfare. Unlike traditional carriers, these invisible vessels rely on stealth technology, camouflage, and innovative design to remain unseen. It emphasizes the element of surprise and covert operations. By embracing this bold challenge, Japan is pioneering the creation of invisible aircraft carriers to safeguard its borders, harnessing advanced technology to operate discreetly and ensure the utmost security in an era where traditional threats have evolved shows the country's commitment to pushing the boundaries of naval defense to protect its waters. Is it possible to develop an invincible aircraft carrier? Does Japan plan to go beyond defense with this aircraft carrier? Join us as we explore the $97 billion Japanese invincible aircraft carrier that would shock the world. Aircraft carriers, serving as mobile air bases for aircraft, have a rich history that has evolved with changing conflicts, technological progress, and geopolitics. The story begins in the early 20th century with Eugene Ely's pioneering shipboard aircraft launch in 1910. This marked the inception of ship-based aviation, inspiring further experiments. During World War I in 1917, the British military transformed the HMS Furious into a carrier, playing a pivotal role in carrier-based aviation's evolution. Aircraft carriers have since become instrumental in naval warfare, global politics, and military power projection, reflecting the dynamic interplay of innovation and geopolitics throughout their history. Following World War I, Several nations continued to explore the potential of carrier-based aviation. The Washington Naval Treaty of 1922 limited the number of battleships each nation could possess. This restriction increased interest in carriers, as they were not subject to these treaty limitations. As a result, the interwar period witnessed experimentation with various carrier designs and the development of aircraft specifically designed for carrier operations and Japan was on the list of countries involved. Japan's first aircraft carrier, the Wakamaya Maru, marked a significant milestone in the nation's pursuit of naval aviation. The Wakamaya Maru was originally a civilian cargo ship, but was converted into an experimental aircraft carrier in 1914. One pioneering experiment on the Wakamaya Maru involved launching and recovering a farm and seaplane. On May 15, 1914, this seaplane successfully took off from the ship's deck. However, the Wakamiya Maru needed a flight deck as we know it today. Instead, the seaplane was catapulted into the air from a temporary platform erected on the ship's deck. This experiment was a precursor to the more sophisticated carrier operations that would become commonplace on future aircraft carriers. The Wakamiya Maru's significance lies in its role as a testing ground for aviation technologies and carrier-based operations. Japan closely monitored the groundbreaking experiments and developments in naval aviation occurring in Europe, and the United States commissioned the Kasumigora Naval Airfield in 1917, which later went on to play a pivotal role in the development of Japan's first purpose-built aircraft carrier called the Hosho, which was commissioned on December 27, 1922. The Hosho represented a substantial step forward in Japan's development of naval aviation. The Hosho was a comparatively small carrier with a length of 168 meters and a displacement of 7,470 tons. It was designed to carry and launch wheeled aircraft instead of seaplanes. The ship featured a flush flight deck, catapults, and a resting gear, making it more suitable for the launching and recovery of aircraft. The initial complement of aircraft on the Hosho included SOP with one-half strutter biplanes. These aircraft were launched via catapult and recovered using arresting gear. The success of the Hosho set the stage for the development of larger and more powerful aircraft carriers, and during the 1920s, Japan commissioned two carriers that would become iconic names in the history of naval aviation, the Akagi and the Kaga. The Akagi was originally a battlecruiser that underwent conversion into a carrier. Commissioned in 1927, 
the Akagi was a formidable ship with a length of 247 meters and a displacement of approximately 36,500 tons. It featured a full-length flight deck, catapults, and a hangar to accommodate many aircraft. The Kaga, a sister ship to the Akagi, was another converted battlecruiser that joined Japan's carrier fleet. Commissioned in 1928, the Kaga boasted similar specifications to the Akagi, and the two carriers played crucial roles in Japan's growing naval aviation capabilities. These carriers carried aircraft such as the Mitsubishi 2MR and Nakajima A1N biplanes. The Akagi and Kaga shifted toward larger, more capable carrier vessels that could carry and operate various aircraft. The carriers formed the core of what would later be known as the Kido Butai, or the Carrier Striking Force. This powerful naval force became the centerpiece of Japan's naval strategy during the 1930s and 1940s. The Kido Butai supported Japan's expansionist ambitions in the Pacific during World War II. They spearheaded Japan's surprise attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941, delivering a devastating blow to the United States Pacific Fleet. The raid showcased the incredible reach and effectiveness of carrier-based aviation. The successful use of carriers in the early stages of World War II brought international attention, and World War II ended in 1945 with Japan's formal surrender following the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and the subsequent entry of the Allied forces into Japan. The nation's capitulation led to a significant reconfiguration of its military structure and capabilities. As part of the terms of surrender outlined in the Potsdam Declaration, Japan underwent a thorough disarmament process. Japan's military, including its Imperial Japanese Navy, was dismantled, demobilized, and demilitarized. This process was overseen by the Allied forces, primarily the United States. Japan's military leadership and infrastructure were disbanded, and the production of war weapons was halted. One of the aspiring pivotal moments in Japan's disarmament and shift towards a defense-oriented military policy was the adoption of Article 9 in the post-war Japanese Constitution. This article, introduced in 1947 under the guidance of the Allied forces, renounces Japan's right to wage war and maintain military forces for aggressive purposes. Article 9 states, Aspiring sincerely to an international peace based on justice and order, the Japanese people forever renounce war as a sovereign right of the nation and the threat or use of force to settle international disputes. In order to accomplish the aim of the preceding paragraph in their constitution, land, sea, and air forces, as well as other war potential, will never be maintained. The right of belligerency of the state will not be recognized. This renunciation of war and the commitment to a purely defensive stance had profound implications for Japan's military arsenal, including its aircraft carriers. The Imperial Japanese Navy, which had once fielded formidable battleships and aircraft carriers, was entirely dissolved. Aircraft carriers, which had played a crucial role in Japan's war efforts during World War II, were no longer a part of Japan's naval inventory. The forced demilitarization and disarmament efforts meant that Japan's naval aviation, which had once been cutting edge, was dismantled. This transition marked a departure from Japan's ambitions to operate aircraft carriers as instruments of power projection. The post-war period saw Japan shift from being an aggressive and expansionist power to one that became heavily reliant on the United States for its security. The United States assumed the role of Japan's primary security guarantor, particularly in the face of the emerging Cold War and the threat posed by the Soviet Union. The United States stationed significant military forces in Japan, including air bases, naval assets, and ground troops. This presence played a vital role in safeguarding Japan's security and acting as a deterrent against potential aggressors. As part of the U.S.-Japan Security Treaty, signed in 1951, the United States committed to defending Japan from external aggression. This treaty essentially outsourced Japan's security to the United States, freeing the country from the need to maintain significant military forces while Japan focused on reconstruction and economic development. While Article 9 of the Constitution disallowed the maintenance of traditional military forces, it did permit the establishment of a self-defense force. In 1954, the Japan Self-Defense Forces were officially formed, 
encompassing ground, maritime, and air components. The JSDF was designed for purely defensive purposes and was structured to respond to external threats and provide for Japan's security without venturing into acts of aggression. This approach led to a shift in the nation's military capabilities and assets. As Japan's relationship with the United States solidified and the Cold War persisted, Japan sought to rebuild its maritime and air capabilities. Japan began to reconstitute its maritime forces within its self-defense-oriented policy, including the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. This marked the revival of Japan's maritime capabilities, including the reintroduction of naval vessels and, in time, the exploration of aircraft carriers. Japan's pursuit of naval aviation capabilities within the constraints of its constitution led to the development of helicopter carriers, also known as Hyuga-class ships. These vessels, the Hyuga and the Aisei, serve a dual role. While they are often referred to as helicopter destroyers, their capabilities extend beyond the traditional definition of destroyers. The Hyuga-class ships have a flight deck that can accommodate helicopters, including transport helicopters and anti-submarine warfare helicopters. While these vessels do not operate fixed-wing aircraft like traditional aircraft carriers, they represent Japan's interest in maintaining a degree of naval aviation capability for defensive purposes. In recent years, Japan has altered its defense approach, responding to regional security challenges by developing a versatile aircraft carrier. This vessel, designed for adaptability, mirrors Japan's evolving security stance in the Asia-Pacific region. China's expansion of territorial claims in the South China Sea beyond international norms has led to global concerns, sparking disputes with neighboring countries like Japan, Vietnam, the Philippines, and Malaysia. The presence of advanced naval assets in this contested region heightens tensions and the risk of maritime incidents. Japan's expansion in military capabilities by developing the Izumo-class aircraft carriers is a proactive response to the heightened tensions in the South China Sea, an area encompassing 1.3 million square miles known for its abundant fishing resources, extensive oil reserves, and crucial global shipping routes. The Izumo-class consists of the Izumo and the Kaga, which were commissioned in 2015. The construction journey began in 2011 at the IHI Marine United Shipyard in Yokohama, with 113.9 billion yen allocated in the fiscal 2010 budget. These destroyers were intended to replace the two aging ships of the Shirane class, originally scheduled for decommissioning in FY 2014. The construction culminated in the launch of Izumo on August 6, 2013, following which sea trials commenced on September 29, 2014 leading to her commissioning on March 25, 2015, making her the largest of its kind since World War II. Her designation as a destroyer adheres to the constraints of the Japanese constitution, which prohibits offensive weaponry acquisition. Nevertheless, the ship empowers Japan to project military influence well beyond its territorial waters, representing a strategic asset in Japan's maritime defense strategy. One of the most remarkable features of the Izumo is its considerable capacity to carry up to 28 aircraft, including 14 larger aircraft, accommodating seven anti-submarine warfare helicopters and two search and rescue helicopters as its initial aircraft complement. Moreover, the ship can transport 400 troops and 53.5-ton trucks or equivalent equipment for various operations. The flight deck provides five helicopter landing spots, enabling simultaneous landings and takeoffs, significantly enhancing its versatility as a multi-purpose operation destroyer. Notably, the Izumo's design and construction boast elements hinting at the potential to support fixed-wing aircraft such as the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey and Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, although neither the Ministry of Defense nor the JMSDF had officially announced the possibility of introducing fixed-wing aircraft. It's pertinent to mention that the ship lacks a ski jump or catapult, typical features found on carriers designed for launching fixed-wing aircraft. Should Izumo-class ships welcome fixed-wing aircraft, they would be limited to short takeoff, close-in, vertical landing aircraft. Japan has acquired the conventional F-35A Lightning II, but considerations have been made to purchase the Stovall F-35B version, which could be operated from a modified Izumo-class ship. 
In December 2018, the Japanese government confirmed its intention to acquire approximately 40 F-35B fighters, paving the way for their operation from Izumo and its sister ship, Kaga, marking a historic shift in Japan's naval capabilities. The ship is equipped with two Phalanx close-in weapon systems and two C-RAM CIWs for air defense. These systems provide a robust defense against various aerial threats and enhance the ship's survivability on the modern maritime battlefield. JS Kaga shares its name with the World War II, era Kaga, which played a role in the attack on Pearl Harbor. Its construction commenced on October 7, 2013, at the Yokohama plant of Japan Marine United. The ship was launched on August 27, 2015, and officially commissioned on March 22, 2017. The construction cost amounted to 115 billion yen. This aircraft carrier has the same design, capacity, functionality, and defense weaponry as the Izumo. Since their commissioning, JS Kaga and JS Izumo have been engaged in various missions. Following its commissioning, JS Kaga embarked on a noteworthy tour of the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean in 2018, bolstering Japan's strategic presence in these vital maritime regions. During a state visit in May 2019, former U.S. President Donald Trump visited Kaga in Yokosuka, commending Japan as a reliable ally and recognizing their investments in American products. On the other hand, J.S. Izumo has a history marked by its involvement in diverse operations. Shortly after its commissioning in 2015, Izumo participated in a disaster drill in Tokyo and served as a casualty receiving and triage station alongside the Japan Coast Guard's large patrol vessel Izu. In 2017, Izumo was deployed to escort the U.S. supply vessel USNS Richard E. Byrd, supporting the refueling of a U.S. warship defending against North Korean missiles. Following Japan's enactment of security legislation in 2016, this mission stirred protests and concerns in Yokosuka. In 2020, Izumo initiated a significant conversion to accommodate F-35B fighter aircraft in two stages, emphasizing Japan's commitment to short takeoff and vertical landing capabilities. Izumo participated in joint exercises with the British aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth in the Pacific throughout its operational history, highlighting Japan's dedication to international naval cooperation. Furthermore, in 2021, the United States Marine Corps achieved a historic milestone by conducting F-35B fighter operations from the Izumo, demonstrating the ship's adaptability. Lastly, in May 2022, the JMSDF announced Izumo's participation in RIMPAC 2022, reaffirming Japan's commitment to regional security and international naval cooperation in the Pacific. Japan, ranked as the world's third largest economy, boasting a formidable $4.2 trillion GDP, is channeling substantial investments into bolstering its military prowess. For the fiscal year 2024, Japan aimed for a record budget of $52.9 billion, marking a remarkable increase in military expenditure. The nation's forward-looking strategy includes allocating approximately $307 billion over the upcoming five years, signifying a more than 250% surge in spending when juxtaposed with the financial outlays of the preceding five years. This financial commitment underscores Japan's earnest commitment to fortify its defense capabilities in response to evolving regional security dynamics. Japan is actively exploring a new naval strategy to transform the Izumo into a state-of-the-art mothership. This upgrade proposal involves deploying the F-35B, a fifth-generation stealth fighter capable of vertical takeoffs and landings. The government intends to meticulously define the mothership's specifications, including its operational roles and typical aircraft carrying capacity to ensure it aligns with Japan's defense-oriented policy and doesn't cross the line into being perceived as an offensive aircraft carrier. This envisioned vessel, operating effectively as an aircraft carrier for fighter jets, is aimed at countering potential threats from Chinese military activities in the Nansei Island chain in southwestern Japan. Specifically, the government plans to refurbish Japan's largest destroyer, the Maritime Self-Defense Forces Izumo, which features an elongated deck extending from the ship's bow to its stern. 
The intrigue surrounding this development comes from the perception that these vessels might harbor hidden attributes, making them akin to invisible aircraft carriers. It's essential to clarify that the term invisible doesn't imply literal invisibility, but rather alludes to the carrier's ability to operate in a stealthy and discreet manner, particularly in today's rapidly changing security landscape. There is speculation, not confirmed by the Japanese government, that the Izumo might employ refractive screens or other advanced technologies to reduce their detectability. While these claims have yet to be officially substantiated, they highlight the ongoing quest for cutting-edge capabilities in naval operations. The Invincible aircraft carrier would have the same technological capabilities as the USS Gerald R. Ford, the newest and most advanced aircraft carrier in the United States Navy, which represents the pinnacle of American carrier technology and innovation, offering insights into the sophistication that Japan's carriers can potentially harness. The Izumo would also have this feature, like the USS Ford equipped with emails, an advanced catapult system that replaces traditional steam catapults. Emails ensures precise aircraft launch control, reducing airframe stress and broadening the range of launchable aircraft. Similar to emails, AAG represents a breakthrough in aircraft recovery technology. It employs energy-absorbing water turbines and an advanced control system to decelerate and stop landing aircraft safely. Both carrier types have flight decks and hangars capable of handling a mix of rotary wing and fixed wing aircraft, streamlining aircraft operations, maintenance and storage. These modern carriers are equipped with cutting edge ISR systems, encompassing radar, sonar and communication suites, enhancing the carrier strike group's situational awareness and threat detection capabilities. To defend against airborne and missile threats, both Japanese and American carriers feature self-defense systems including close-in weapon systems and anti-aircraft missiles. Both carrier types leverage data integration and network-centric warfare capabilities, enhancing coordination within the carrier strike group and fostering communication with other fleet elements. This shared technology ensures a high level of operational efficiency and capability in these carriers. As Japan continues to navigate regional challenges and global uncertainties, the invincible aircraft carriers reflect the nation's preparedness to leverage advanced technology and adapt to evolving security landscapes. These carriers, embodying the spirit of defense and deterrence, exemplify Japan's vision for a maritime force that excels in an era where strategic ambiguity and evolving technologies shape the future of naval operations. While not invisible in the literal sense, Japan's Izumo concept embodies stealth and resilience, further elevating their significance in modern naval warfare. Thank you for watching. While you are still here, click the link on your screen to check out more of our videos. See you there.